54. Hell is for the proud. O oh, my soul, humble thyself in the remembrance that there is a hell, not considering it only in the abstract, nor even as a contrivance for the punishment of sinners in general, but regard it rather as a place specially prepared for thyself and deserved by thee more than once. For there the proud will be cast headlong. And I should be there with them at this moment, eternally insulted and tormented by devils, had I not been preserved therefrom by the mercy of God. Millions of angels have been imprisoned there for having committed one sole sin of pride, and that only in thought. Oh, my soul, continue thus in thy pride and thy false self-esteem, guarding thy own susceptibilities and oblivious to the rights of others, and thou shalt be brought down to hell. That place of torment awaits thee, and there below thy pride shall indeed be humbled. Thou who delightest now in thy own proud thoughts shall be thrust there into flames of fire. And thou who now wishest to be above all shalt then be below all. For there below thou wilt have to face a God who bears an infinite hatred of the proud and is infinitely angry with them. And as it is a truth that the humble shall be exalted in heaven, it is also a truth that the proud shall be humbled and cast down into hell. And the rich man also died. Thus writes St. Luke of a proud man who was clothed in purple and fine linen. And the rich man died. That is the end of all humanity and vanity. And he was buried in hell. Luke 16.22 That is the end of of all pride. The grave is the end of man. Hell is the end of the proud.